good old Ford Super Duty. So I just wanted to uh, say thanks for, you know, the subscribers. I'm, looks like I'm over 500 now. And, uh, you know, a little bit of interaction going on in the comments. Plus, uh, you know, on the Facebook, there's some, uh, you know, people are private messaging me and asking questions or attacking me and telling me how wrong I am. I really appreciate that. Um, the thing we have to understand here is we've got we've got two camps. We have the guy that owns one of these trucks and just wants to keep it on the road. And he, you know, he doesn't, might have a tuner on it, you know, maybe an SCT. And yeah, you can get up probably pretty close to 400 horsepower with one of these pretty easily with a tuner. But, uh, you know, we're not seven, 800 horsepower. We're not those guys. Uh, th that is not my customer base that wants to do that. Um, I'm not into the, you know, quote, performance on these. We can do that. But, uh, you know, in order, in order to do that, if you want to do that, we can do it. You're going to have to get this some bitch out right here. You know, you're going to have to have that out. And you're going to have, it's going to have to have a lot of green in it. Because it's going to be expensive. If that's what you want to do, we can do that. Um, the other thing, too, is, and I probably, you know, I, I'll listen to things in the background throughout the day when I'm uh, working. And uh, Diesel Podcast, I like that. They have a lot of good people on there. Cast Jote, I really, I really enjoy listening to him. I mean, they're really uh, cutting edge, you know, on a lot. I mean, they're going above and beyond, really of what, uh, as far as I know, any anyone else is doing as far as their testing and, you know, scientific, uh, you, you know, I mean, good stuff. So, and, and I would, I would listen, you know, to what he has to say about it. Um, I'm sure there's other people around that aren't, um, you know, so public that, you know, have a pretty good clue of what's going on you know, in the, in the diesel world with these engines and the failures that they have and that kind of thing. Uh, my little niche is, uh, the 6.0, um, do a lot of six, seven stuff too on the, on the six, seven Ford. Um, but these, uh, six liters are still around and I'm still working on them. So, you know, I guess I'm going to die working on them as long as they're around, I'm going to be working on them. And, and I'm not saying, uh, you know, what, What's good for one person may not be good for the other, you know, or may not work for the other person. It, it all depends on what you're doing. You know, it's it's apples to apples, not apples to oranges. And like I said, my customers just, uh, you know, just as a truck wants to keep it on the road. We don't want to, you know, we're not trying to set any land speed records or anything like that. Like I said, if you want to do that, get your wallet out. We can do that too. But uh that's not what I'm doing here. There are people that do do that, do do that, and uh, I'm not really one of them. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for the comments. Like I said, even the negative ones, I, I really enjoy them, and I, I especially enjoy the people that write uh, a Hemingway novel, you know, informing me of all the availability of this and that and how, you know, things that I may not know. You know, I really appreciate that. that that's always good for, uh, it's good entertainment. Um, anyway, uh, thanks again and, uh, y'all take care.